What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. I've talked a lot about my love for the Aura Ring and how I've used it in nearly every sleep experiment I've done over the past year. But after nearly 600 days of wearing it nonstop and putting it through the ringer with excessive heat, cold and water, I wanted to see if I was still getting my money's worth from this small device. So I bought a second one. And for the past month, I've been wearing them side by side to see how my data compares. So in this video, I'll be sharing my surprising results. I'll show you the wear and tear of the ring over time and go over my biggest takeaway from this sleep experiment. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. Now, before we dive deep into my data, I'm just gonna spend the next few minutes explaining what the Aura Ring is and how it works. So if you're already well-versed, feel free to jump ahead. Or you can also check out my full YouTube review of the Aura Ring in the show notes below. So this small and sleek titanium ring is designed to be your one-stop shop for basically all things sleep related. Using advanced PPG and temperature sensors, the Aura Ring measures things like your HRV, heart rate, respiratory rate, and of course, sleep cycles. And along with the ring comes a very user-friendly app that makes it easy to track your REM, deep and light sleep scores over time. And they've recently added a new feature called Moment where you can actually track how meditations impact things like your HRV and heart rate. Plus the ring also doubles as somewhat of a lightweight fitness tracker in that it measures your step counts, calories burned and number of hours active. Now I wouldn't necessarily ditch your high-tech sports watch for this, but it is nice to make some correlations around exercise and sleep. And so for $300, I really do think that you're getting your money's worth for this variety of data. And speaking of data, let's jump right into the good stuff as we compare the data from my nearly two-year-old Aura Ring with that of my brand new Aura Ring. So to ensure accuracy for this experiment, I ordered the same ring size and style. So this is the silver balance in a size seven and wore them on the same fingers opposite hands for three weeks straight. Even on Aura's website, they say that you can change up your fingers from time to time, as long as you're still maintaining a good connection. Now I knew going into this that there might be some data discrepancies right off the bat because I am right-handed. So things like step counts might be off by a little bit, but for the most part, I was hoping and expected to see fairly similar stats and trend lines across the board, especially for some of the more stable metrics like heart rate, temperature, and of course, sleep. And before we look at those, just want to address the wear and tear of the device. So a lot of you have asked me if the ring easily scratches, but as you'll see here, my old Aura is still in really good condition after nearly two years of continuous use. And trust me, I've been hard on this thing. Sure, it's not as shiny or brilliant as the new one, but the scratch marks are really subtle and this thing still holds a good charge of about four to five days. Now, when it comes to accuracy, I will say that I was really impressed to see that my total sleep time, respiratory rate, heart rate, light sleep, and HRV were nearly identical for both rings. This tells me that certain aspects of Aura's sensor technology are really sound and can withstand the test of time. For instance, when it comes to heart rate, Aura uses red PPG sensors or blood pulse volume. And these measurements are taken from the arteries of the palm side of your finger. Now in previous videos, I've talked a lot about the accuracy of red PPG sensors versus green ones, which are used in most devices, including the Whoop, and the Apple Watch. And so seeing these two stats in nearly perfect alignment really gave me that confidence that my heart rate and HRV measurements were pretty accurate despite which hand I was wearing it on. And for respiratory rate, the Aura Rings algorithm relies on the same technology of this blood pulse volume to determine that number. So again, it was really no surprise to see the accuracy between the two rings when it came to that stat. But where things go south, surprisingly, is in the sleep data. And let's start with the most egregious example, REM sleep. Now, when you're in a state of REM sleep or rapid eye movement, 
This is when your brain is the most active and you typically experience vivid dreaming. People usually enter REM sleep within the first 90 minutes of falling asleep and then they'll re-enter several more times as the sleep cycle continues. So where did things go astray? Well, as you'll see here, my stats were really all over the place with my old aura recording much more REM sleep than the new one. About nine of the 23 nights showed some stark discrepancies in my data, which means it wasn't just a fluke. And for me, this is not something to pass over lightly. Now I do a lot of experimentations around improving my REM and deep sleep. And so this inconsistency had me wondering if there is a problem with either the algorithm or perhaps an aspect of their hardware, like the temperature sensor. Because when I looked at the temperature deviation between the two rings, I saw a very similar pattern in which my old aura ring was consistently higher than my new one. Now, I will say that the stats did follow similar trend lines for the most part, and perhaps pillows or blankets got in the way. It's really hard to say for sure, but there were a handful of nights in which my rings swung in opposite directions. And so that's making me second guess how much stress I put on my temperature stats from day to day. And finally, I saw some really big differences in my sleep latency or the amount of time it takes me to fall asleep. Now this stat is a combo of your heart rate and movement. And these would be coming from the PPG sensors and accelerometer. And so I thought maybe the accelerometer for movement was off but that would have also been reflected in my awake times, which it wasn't. So here I am again, slightly perplexed by my data and really questioning the accuracy of certain stats like REM, sleep latency, and temperature. And before we get to my final takeaways, let's quickly address deep sleep, total steps, and calories burned. Now, all of these stats showed some minor discrepancies, and I was surprised to see that my new Aura Ring recorded more deep sleep than the old one. But where I was confused the most was in calories burned versus steps. My old Aura Ring, which is on my dominant hand, recorded more steps, as I thought, but the new Aura Ring recorded more calories burned. And since my heart rate, rest times, and high activity times were nearly identical across the board, I'm not entirely sure why these two rings would be off by nearly 200 calories a day. Now I get that it is not a perfect tracker, but this is where you get into some potential issues of relying too heavily on a device to dictate your daily decisions. Which leads me to my final point on what do these data discrepancies really mean? Now, I am not here to discredit the company or say that I no longer stand by the Aura Ring. I still think that this is one of the best and most accessible sleep trackers on the market right now, and I'm sure the NBA would agree. And I will say that after this trial, I really don't think that my old Aura Ring has seen its expiration date. Now, while I did see some discrepancies in my REM and deep sleep, all of my baseline stats were still pretty accurate, which means whatever discrepancies there are, it's not because my ring is getting too old. But perhaps my biggest takeaway from this whole experiment is this. I do think that I've become too over-reliant on the metrics as this source of truth. And I think it's time to rethink that. I see the Aura as providing great value because it really provides you with a baseline to work with. Over time, you can begin to see trends and even make correlations around your habits, especially if you struggle with sleep. But I admit, I became obsessed with checking my sleep scores every single day, and then I would overanalyze what I did right or wrong, depending on what the score said. So moving forward, I really think my best course of action is to take some of these stats with a grain of salt and really look more at the big picture than the minute day to day. Sure, if your heart rate flies off the handle or your temperature skyrockets for five days straight, yeah, maybe it is time to evaluate your health. But how you feel when you wake up is just as important as what the ring says. And this experiment really put that into perspective for me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you learned something, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I will catch you on the next one.